Hi everyone, a quick video from InfoSec Hub. Today we're going to talk about the complexity of passwords. Um, hackers use brute forcing to, uh, to guess passwords and to break into your online accounts. And here is basically an overview of how long it takes a hacker to brute force a password depending on the number of characters used. So, you know, in a password, it should contain lower letters, uh, upper letters, lowercase, uppercase, um, special symbols uh, like explanation marks or the at sign, st stuff like that. Um, and this is very important to do that for uh, all your online accounts and uh, also make unique passwords for each individual account. Um, you can use uh, password generators uh, online to, um, to, to fix passwords. Just a password, don't enter any uh, account name like a password or a uh, username. Don't do that. Um, the best tip I can give you is use KeePass. KeePass uh, is supported by all three major platforms. So it will work on Windows, it will work on Mac, it will uh, work on Linux. And all the passwords are stored inside a database and that database is just uh, one little file that you can uh, store on an external hard drive, a USB, uh, whatever you want, maybe in your own cloud. And that way you have full control over all your passwords. It also comes with a password generator. So if you say I want 18 characters and it should contain lowercase, uppercase, special signs, spaces, stuff like that, it can all handle that. So that's that's great. Um, if you want a company to do that for you to a certain degree, you can have the free license of uh, LastPass, which is an American company, I believe. So your password will be probably stored in the United States. Think about if you want to take that risk. And it's also an, it's an online business, so they can be potentially hacked. And if they hack you, then all your passwords will be leaked on the streets. So that's a major downside downside or you should um, change your passwords every month you know whatever you want i would recommend key pass it's not difficult to uh, install and you will find there's a, a, a key pass database you will find the extension and that's very easy to back up to a usb drive or any other location and it also has a password generator in it and uh, it's just a great tool I use uh, different passwords for every online account and uh, accounts that I um, think are highly uh, sensitive or in a way that I don't want to lose the control over them. I change uh, passwords almost every month. Uh, also, I'd regular check if accounts that I use uh, might have been uh, caught up in a data breach. Um, you can do that uh, by visiting the, visiting the website Have I Been Pawned. Um, so, you know, when it comes to online accounts, it really depends. You know, if it's a payment provider that you use or it's just uh, social media or whatever, you have to also rate them in terms of um, damage to yourself when something gets hacked and lost. So that's basically what I wanted to say about passwords and how long it takes for hackers to brute force them. Brute force is a technique that hackers use to crack passwords. Uh, good configured websites don't allow brute forcing because after three or four uh, login attempts, they will just completely block out that IP or the, the, the browser signature or what have you. Uh, but some websites, they allow you to uh, try, you know, infinite times uh, to, to log into your account. And these are perfect for brute forcing. And it's still nowadays being used. So that's what I wanted to say. If you have any questions about this topic, uh, as always, just please leave them in the comment section below this video. And uh, thanks for watching another video. If you find it interesting and you want to hear more about these information security topics, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.